a gracious good day <clears throat> to one and all once again. Tis I, Norton the First, by grace of God, Emperor of the United States, and Protector of Mexico, back with you once again for episode number 85 of Emperor Norton's fantastic history vlog. Today is July 2nd, 2020. It is our 107th day under COVID-19 restrictions. Uh, pardon some of the background noise. We are coming to you today from the always lovely Imperial Gardens. And since we're here, I thought we'd show off one of the Imperial Bonsai. This is a flowering quince. As you can see, there's a little, little tiny quince right here, as well as one right here. This one does exceptionally well. It's about to bloom again. Back there, okay. Let's get on with the rest of the show. We start with our national days. Today is World UFO Day. I don't see any, but you know, they recently verified that UFOs are real. Hmm, interesting. I forgot day, but I forgot about it. Made in the USA Day. Well, my imperial jacket is made in the USA. And Freedom from Fear of Speaking Day. Something we definitely do not suffer from. So uh, for those of you that do, get out and speak. It's the best way to overcome it. Our Florida Man story, our newest segment. Uh, this one's a little dicey. I have to figure out the right way to word it. Uh, on July 2nd, uh, oh, I didn't get the year on this, but nonetheless, this happened on a July 2nd. A uh, Florida man sits on gun and shoots himself in... the family jewels. Let's just leave it at that. You can fill in the blanks. I think, I hope. Our San Francisco story, <clears throat> excuse me. Our San Francisco story for today is taken from John Ralston's wonderful book, This Date in San Francisco. Because on July 2nd, 1836, the Jacob Lease erects Yerba Buena's second building. Jacob Lease arrived in May 1835, intending to establish a mercantile business in partnership with Nathan Spear, who Spear Street is named after, and W.S. Hinckley, both of Monterey. Lease presented letters to Governor Don Mariano Chico, directing municipal authorities to cooperate by granting Lease a suitable plot to establish his business. After some negotiation, he obtained a parcel across Calle de la Fundación, later DuPont Street, now Grant Avenue, from William Richardson's house, who we covered in an earlier vlog. Lee Scott boards and other building materials and put up a 25-foot by 60-foot structure in only two days, just in time for the first celebration of the 4th of July in Yerba Buena. It was a glorious 4th. Three ships, the Don Quixote, commanded by Lisa's partner, Hinckley, another American ship, and a Mexican vessel, furnished colored bunting to decorate Lisa's new, Lisa's new building. Hinckley sent musicians ashore. General Mariano Vallejo, Vallejo Street, Vallejo, California. His family and other prominent families came down from Sonoma. Lisa recorded afterwards that the fourth didn't end until the evening of the fifth. Wow. The following April, Lise married Vallejo's sister, Rosa. And on April 15, 1838, Rosa gave birth to daughter Ros Rosalia, the first child of European parents born in San Francisco. And uh, there is a street, it's about three blocks long here in San Francisco, named Lise Street. It's actually not all that far from the Imperial Palace. Let's go on to our other history for today. In 1776, on this date, con the Continental Congress resolves, quote, these united colonies and of right ought to be free and are of right and are... Uh, let me start that again. In 1776, on this date, con the Continental Congress resolves these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states. We haven't gotten the Declaration of Independence yet, but it's coming up in a couple days. 
On this date in 1843, an alligator falls from the sky during a thunderstorm in Charleston, South Carolina. Hmm. 1881, U.S. President James Garfield is shot by Charles J. Gateau, a disappointed office seeker. Garfield dies 79 days later. 1900, the first flight of the LZ-1, uh, the first dirigible airship designed by Graf Ferdinand von Zeppelin at Lake Constance near Friedrichshafen, Germany. 1928, the Jenkins Television Corporation, owned by Charles Jenkins, goes on air with W3KX, the first television broadcasting station in the United States. 1937 on this date, Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan disappear, flying over the Pacific Ocean en route to, en route to Howland Island. Noonan is declared dead the following year and Earhart is declared dead the year after, 1939. Uh, they believe they may have found their remains. I don't know where that story actually stands right now, but uh, we do know that she took off from Oakland on that little fate of the flight. 1959, the Lawrence Welk Show premieres on ABC. A wonderful, a wonderful. 1956, on this date, Elvis Presley records Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel. 1962, Sam Walton's opens his first Walmart's Mart store in Rogers, Arkansas. 1964, U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson signs the Civil Rights Act and Voting Rights Act into law. 1979, Susan B. Anthony, it's the Susan B. Anthony dollar is, is issued, the first U.S. coin to honor a woman. 1980, the comedy film Airplane, written and directed by David Zucker, Jim Adams, and Jerry Zucker, and starring Robert Hayes and Julie Haggerty, among people, premieres. I chose a hell of a time to give up sniffing glue. Births today, 1877, writer Herman S. 1908, Thurgood Marshall, the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. 1922, did I say 1908 on that? I believe I did. 1922, designer Pierre Cardin, fashion designer. 1929, Amelda Marcos and her thousand pairs of shoes. 1942, former Mexican President Vicente Fox. 1947, Larry David. Is it proper to wish Larry David a happy birthday? 1956, Jerry Hall, American model, uh... First, she was the girlfriend of uh, Brian Ferry, and then seven days after announcing her engagement to him, she leaves him for Mick Jagger, and then eventually leaves Mick Jagger and marries Rupert Murdoch. Uh, deaths today, 1566. Oh, we're getting some wind. I hope it doesn't interfere too much. 1566, Nostradamus died. I wonder if he knew it was coming. 1850, Robert Bobby Peel, British Prime Minister, founder of the London Police. I'm assuming that's why they call them Bobbies. Uh, 1940, Ben Turpin. Ooh, sorry, I didn't know if I can get back from that. 1961, Ernest Hemingway. 1973, Betty Grable. 1977, Vladimir, Vladimir Nabokov, the author of Lolita. 1991, actor Lee Remick. 1997, a biggie, Jimmy Stewart. 1999, Godfather author Mario Puzo. 2016, Ellie Wiesel, an Auschwitz survivor and author, a Nobel Prize winner. And 2019, a former Chrysler chair, creator of the Mustang, the Ford Mustang, Lee Iacocca. You know, there was a time when you, if you went into a thrift store, there was always a copy of Iacocca. Always, it may still be true, I don't know. It was a big seller. Well, that wraps it up for today. Hope you're enjoying the Imperial Gardens. Uh, that's the Imperial Succulent Collection, by the way. We'll show you more on a future date, more of the Imperial Bonsai Collection, but until we see you again, stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy. If you go outside, wear the damn mask. Don't take unproven cures. Don't drink bleach. Don't put it on yourself. Disinfectants will just hurt yourself. And until we meet you again,
to one another. A gracious good day.